Welcome again, everybody. So good to see you. So just stand at the top of your mat, feet together. You can roll your shoulders back a couple of times just to get the attention and the energy inside of the body, checking out how things are today for you. No judgment, just checking it out, okay? Now interlace your fingers, turn your palms outward and lift your arms to the sky. So from here, you're stretching your arms upward, but you are stretching your shoulders away from your ears. Navel towards the spine, tailbone towards the ground. So that you might see a little beast there doing yoga with us today. Her name is Shanti. <laughs> there she comes. Okay, everybody. So gently you can just Exhale and bring your arms down. Now do the same thing, but behind your back. Interlace your 10 fingers. Maybe you can touch your palms, maybe not, that's fine. And on an exhale, bend from the hips. Once you're down there, bring the arms over and up as much as you can. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. If it's too intense, bend the knees, okay? so. Always adjust the posture so that it's not unbearable. You should be able to breathe nice and calm through the nose at all times, okay? Now inhale, come all the way up and bring the arms to the side. Okay, so now inhale, stretch the arms up to the sides, all the way to the ceilings, palms together. Exhale, bend from the hips, straight back, all the way down, hands on the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, make a nice 90 degree angle with the body. Exhale, hands to the floor and go back into plank position. Super. Remember to tuck your tailbone in. Separate your shoulder blades as much as you can and make sure that your shoulders are directly over your wrists. Bring your chin to your chest also. Breathe through the nose. Now inhale. Now on the exhale, slowly bend the elbows. Keep a straight back, go all the way down. Chest touches first. Tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale. Roll the upper spine up into cobra. Shoulders and elbows back. Tuck the toes and go back into your first downward facing dog. If you need to here, you can just bend the right knee and the left knee, alternating just to warm up the body. And from here, find your stance. Make sure the upper body is nice and long. If that's not the case, bend the knees. Okay, priority is straight spine, navel towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears. You're looking at your navel. Now inhale. And just start walking the feet up until they be reach between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground, forehead to the knee. That's it. Inhale, stretch up, flat back, palms together. Exhale, bring the hands down to the side of the body. Repeat. Inhale, stretch those arms up. Palms together, look up. Exhale, bend down from the hips. Very good. Hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the knee. Inhale, flat back, body 90 degrees. Exhale, hands on the ground, and walk back into plank again. Take a nice inhale through the nose. On the exhale, go down. You can stop halfway here if you can. If not, go down all the way. Inhale into an upward facing dog or a cobra. And on an exhale, go into downward facing dog. If you're not sure about the difference between upward facing dog and downward facing dog, just check my tutorial. Now inhale, stretch the right leg up, bend the knee and stack the right hip on top of the left hip. So you're opening the hips, keeping the shoulders parallel to the ground here. Very good. Exhale, go into plank and bring your right knee to your left tricep and hold. 
Breathe through the nose. Lift the hips. Sock your stomach in. Very good. Inhale. Now stretch that right leg up. Three-legged downward dog. Bend the knee. Again, stack the hips. If opening the hips is too intense, just stay in a standard downward facing dog, okay? Now exhale, go back into plank, bring that knee to the left tricep, hold, make sure you're pressing into those fingers so that the weight isn't all into your wrists. Bring the navel in towards the spine, engaging those abs. On an inhale, stretch the left leg up again, open the hips or not, do the variation that works for you. Just giving you more options. And on an exhale, back into plank, right knee to left tricep. Fabulous. Find your balance. Breathe through the nose. On an inhale, stretch the right leg up. Very good. And on an exhale this time, I want you to bring your right knee to your forehead in push-up position. And from here, try to rest your foot directly between your hands. So the right foot, you can just drop it gently. Okay, left knee on the ground, top of the left foot on the ground. Now inhale, stretch both arms up and back. Make sure the palms are facing in front of you and you can just open those arms, open the chest. So your hips are pushing forward, but your chest is pushing up. Shoulders back. Inhale, bring both arms up into prayer. Exhale, bring both of the hands forward on each side of your foot. Okay, and bring your forehead to your knee here and breathe. Very good. Now from here, you can just gently get out of the posture and bring your right hand inside of your knee and bring your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. We're going to stretch the hip here. If you can, bring your elbows to the ground, but if you can't, that's fine. Just do whatever you can. If it's too easy, you can always lift your left knee off of the ground. So what's important here is keeping your right knee as close as possible to your body and your right foot parallel. Okay. If you want to add a little bit of a challenge, you can always walk out your upper body towards the left. So if you're into that, you can check it out. And again, I'm just giving you a bunch of options, but do what feels good for you. I want you to feel something, but you should be able to breathe through your nose at all times, nice and calm. That is your indicator, your breath. Okay, so walk your hands back into center. Bring your left knee on the ground. You can either keep your back toes tucked in or your foot flat on the ground. And inhale, bring both arms up. On an exhale, I want you to twist to your right. Either keep your arms parallel to the floor or see if you can grab your heel with your right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Look up. Chest up. Pushing the hips forward, upper body back. Mm-hmm. Take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, bring the arms forward on each side of the foot. Tuck the left toes in and go back into plank. Inhale. Pivot the heels to the right and lift the left arm up. Side plank. Now, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can always try lifting your left foot off of the ground into a side plank tree pose. So you can lift the knee, bring the foot in the inner right leg without putting any pressure on it. Look straight ahead, face calm, breath calm, and gently bring the left leg back on the ground and go back into plank. Inhale here, exhale, Bend the elbows. Chaturanga. Stop halfway or go down all the way. Inhale into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, let's get ready for the other side. 
So inhale and bring your left leg up this time. All the way to the sky, bend the knee, and now stack the left hip on top of the right, opening the hips, trying to keep the shoulders parallel to the floor as much as possible. On an exhale, go into plank and bring your left knee to your right tricep. Mm -hmm. And hold. And breathe through the nose. <laughs> Inhale, stretch the left leg up, open the hips. You can always just do a standard three-legged downward dog if opening the hips is too much for you, okay? Exhale, back into plank, left knee to right tricep. Super. Pressing into the fingers, remember, otherwise your wrists are going to hurt. Mm. Now inhale, stretch the left leg up. Again, open those hips. Feels super good. Keeping the foot that's on the ground parallel to your mat. Exhale, back into plank. Left knee to right tricep. Breathing through the nose. Enjoying the burn. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Inhale. Bring the right leg up. Opening the hips. That still feels good for you. Breathing. And on the exhale, one last time. Left knee to right tricep. Keep those hips up. Keep those shoulder blades apart. Breathing through the nose. Yeah. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Open the hips. Breathe through the nose. And on the exhale, bring your knees straight to your forehead in between your hands. And from here, try to rest your left foot on the mat between your hands. Right knee on the ground this time. Inhale, both arms up and back. Palms facing forward. And just open the chest. Open the shoulders back, as if you're receiving huge energy from the earth. Inhale, stretch those arms up, palms together. Exhale, bring them forward on the mat, on each side of the foot, forehead to the knee. Harness the energy through your breath. Now this time I want you to gently bring your left hand inside of your left leg and roll your left foot out to the edge of your mat and do the same variation as you did on the other side, okay? So if you lifted the knee, lift the knee of the extended leg, make sure your knee is directly over your left ankle and if you added a little Tore a little twist on the other side. You can always do that. So walk your hands out to the right side this time around. Mm -hmm. Finding stillness wherever you are. Good job. Now gently walk your hands back to center. This time rest your right knee onto the mat. Inhale, bring both of your arms up to the sky, and on the exhale, twist to your left. Either keep your arms parallel, or if you did that on the other side with your left hand, try to touch your right ankle. Now inhale, right arm up, stretch up, chest up. Exhale into a little back bend. Very good. Hips forward. Now on an inhale, bring both arms up. Press them on the floor between the front foot. And go back into plank. From here, pivot your heels to the left this time around and bring your right arm up to the sky. Side plank. So if you lifted the uh, upper leg on the other side, try to do the same here. And maybe you're going to see a difference. It's always... It's normal to have a stronger side. And just do what you can. No judgment. Very good.
just exploring your balance here. And gently you can rest your right foot on the ground, back into plank, inhale here, exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows, keep them close to the body, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Amazing, you guys. From here, in downward facing dog, I just want you to roll your shoulder blades out even more and see if you can put your elbows on the ground without moving your hands. Maybe the crown of your head is going to touch the mat. That's fantastic. Okay, and exhaling, just push into your hands back into downward facing dog. We're going to do that twice, two more times, okay? So inhale, roll out the shoulders. And bring your elbows onto the mat. May it be the top of the head is touching the, the mat as well. We're working the shoulder flexibility here, okay? And on an exhale, push into the hands, back into downward facing dog. One last time, okay? Inhale. Shoulders out, elbows on the mat. It's okay if your heels don't touch the ground anymore, okay? Exhale, back into downward facing dog. <laughs> Very good. Now inhale, bend the knees and see if you can jump between your hands. Flat back. Exhale, hands on the ground, forehead to the knee. Inhale, stretch all the way up, palms together. Exhale, arms down. A little bit faster now. Inhale, stretch the arms up, palms together. Exhale. Bend from the hips, all the way down, hands on the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on each side of the feet, jump back into plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it all go. Now inhale, lift your right leg off the ground. You can open the hips again. And on the exhale, bring your right foot between your hands at the top of your mat. High lunge here. Inhale, swing both of the arms up to the ceiling. Make sure your hips are pushing forward. Your back leg is completely extended, pushing out through the heel. Your front leg, the thighs parallel to the floor. Now exhale and twist to your right. You can keep the arms parallel to the floor, or if you want to test your balance, you can see with your left hand if you can bring it into the outside of your right foot. It's okay if you lose balance. I lost balance too here. Now lift your right arm up to the sky. Just take a breath here. Now on your next inhale, back into high lunge, bring both arms to the sky, facing forward. And prepare yourself for warrior two. Okay, so exhale and just bring your back heel on the ground, pivoting the foot so that it's parallel to the short end of your mat. Both hips parallel here. Bring your tailbone in. Try to keep your front thigh parallel to the ground without compromising your hip alignment. Either stay here or bring your right hand in front of your right foot this time and bring your left arm up into triangle pose, trikonasan. You can look up towards your hand or just look straight ahead, up to you. Try to keep your hips low. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. And on an exhale, bring both of the arms forward on each side of the foot, back into plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Other side, okay? Inhale, left leg up, 
Open the hips if that feels good for you. Take a second. And on the exhale, bring your left foot between your hands at the front of your mat. It's all right if this is difficult, you guys, okay? Inhale, stretch the arms up. You're in a high lunge. So you're pushing through the right heel, right leg extended, left thigh parallel to the floor, tailbone pointing down. Inhale, and on an exhale, twist to the left. You can either keep the arms parallel to the floor here. Check your hip alignment. You want to keep the hips still parallel. It's only the upper body that's twisting in this posture. Okay, back leg extended. And if you want to test your balance, bring the right hand on the outer left foot and bring the left arm up as high as you can. Breathe through the nose. Great job, you guys. Now on an inhale, back into a high lunge, bring both of the arms up to the sky. Exhale into warrior two. Your right foot is parallel to the short end of your mat. Weight on the outer part of the foot. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Tuck your tailbone in. Arms parallel to the floor. And gently, if you'd like, you can bring your left hand inside of your left foot and try to bring your right arm up. Hips low. Trikonasana again. Either looking up towards your hand or just looking straight ahead. Breathing through the nose. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale, sway both arms forward on each side of the left foot. Left foot back. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Keep the elbows close to the body. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take a nice inhale through the nose. And through the mouth, exhale, let it go. Okay, let's keep moving. Left hand, lift your left hand off the mat and grab the outside of your right ankle or calf. If that's too difficult, just try lifting your left hand off the mat. Do what you can, okay? So feel free to adapt the posture. I know I've said it before. Okay, bring the left hand back on the top of the mat in downward facing dog and let's do the opposite side. So right hand reaches out to grab the outer left leg this time around. And on your next exhale, bring the right hand back where it was, downward facing dog. Just bring both knees onto the ground into a tabletop position. Tops of the feet on the mat. And from here, we're going to go into baby dolphin. So make sure your hips are on top of your knees. Stretch your arms forward and just let your chest drop to the ground. Open the shoulder blades. Okay, you don't want to feel any pinching sensation here. So you're sort of turning your armpits towards your face is basically a sensation you should be having here. Well, let it all go. We're going to continue a little bit with some shoulder work. So gently with your hands, bring yourself back up, keep your left arm extended and weave your right arm underneath your left shoulder. So ideally your shoulders are perpendicular to the floor. You can keep your left arm extended or bring it on top of your right palm kind of like in a prayer position and um, from here if it still feels good you can lift up your left arm towards the sky. So this should feel Really good. We're doing a nice twist here. Stretching the back part of the right shoulder. Always checking in with your breath. On an exhale, bringing the left arm back. Back into tabletop and basically just do the opposite side. So this time weaving your left arm underneath your right shoulder. Bring your right palm 
to the left if that's what you did on the other side and on an inhale lift your right arm up so using the breath to really create a deeper twist even if it's just getting a millimeter more sometimes the breath can do well not sometimes always the breath will really help you get the maximum okay bringing the arms down and you can go back into baby dolphin so extend both arms make sure that your hips are as much as possible on top of your knees chest just sinking into the floor heart opening So from here, inhale and pull your body forward, hips on the ground. Your elbows should be directly below your shoulders here. And congratulations, you are in Sphinx. Now pull your hands, pull yourself with your hands forward so that your chest is opening, your shoulders are rolling back. Take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, extend the arms forward legs extended so this next exercise is going to involve our whole bodies and it's really good for the spine so I want you to lift your legs lift your arms and chest and start making a vertical scissor movement with your arms and your legs look at your arms lift your chest thighs contracted legs extended point the toes Imagine it's only your hips touching the ground. And you're almost done for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Forehead on the ground. Now interlace your 10 fingers in your back, fingers pointing towards your heels, and on an inhale, lift your chest up. Pull your arms back, pull your fingers back. Just keep on breathing. Inhale, lift up, chest up, head up. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Keep a fluid breath. And on the exhale, forehead to the ground, bring your arms forward. Take a short but meaningful pause because we're going to do this again. <laughs> you can do it, okay? So lift your legs, lift your arms and chest, start swinging those arms, start swinging those legs in that scissory motion, chest up, breath is fluid through the nose, breathing through the nose, yes. Extend your arms forward, stretch those legs back, thighs contracted, looking towards your hands. Lift the chest, shoulders back for three, two, and one. Very nice. Forehead on the ground, breathing through the nose. Okay, now get ready. Interlace your 10 fingers behind your back. Take a nice inhale and lift the chest. Look up, chest up, press the tops of the feet on the ground, thighs contracted, the knees are actually lifting up off of the ground here. Now as you inhale, lift the chest up, arch the back. And as you exhale, you can slowly release. Rest your forehead on the floor. Either keep your arms to your sides with the palms facing up or extend the arms forward. Release. Now we have two more variations, spine strengthening exercises. So the first is a variation of Salabhasana. So just extend your arms to your sides, making sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders. Bring your legs together, contract your thighs, Point your toes, take a nice deep inhale through the nose, and lift your legs, lift your chest, lift everything up, shoulders up, arms back and up. You're looking up, thighs contracted, toes pointed, making sure you're inhaling and exhaling through your nose. 
Very good. Maintain. Take one last deep inhale. Go up, chest up. And as you exhale, just bring your body, your entire body, onto the ground. Turn your head to the right. Arms to your side, palms facing up. Total relaxation here. Excellent. Now the last exercise is Danurasana, this floor bow pose. Okay, just bring your chin forward, bend your knees, see if you can grab your, the tops of your feet from the outside. So your thumbs should be facing downward, pinky fingers facing up close to your toes. If that's enough for you, you can just, you know, stay there. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. And if you're comfortable, you can try to inhale and just bring a little bit your knees off of the floor. So you're actually pushing with your legs as if you're imagining you want to completely extend your legs. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Only your pelvis should be touching the ground here. Look up. Chest up. Just a few more seconds. And on an exhale, you can slowly, slowly release. Turn your head to the left, let your feet relax. You can touch your toes, touch your big toes and let your heels fall to the side. And just relax here. Excellent. Now slowly turn onto your back. We're going to be working our abs a little bit. Knees flexed. Feet directly under your knees. Extend your arms, palms facing down. Make sure the lower back is touching your mat. And now take an inhale and lift your shoulders and your head off of the ground and then lift your legs. Now lift your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, lower the legs down to the mat. Inhale, lift them up. Try to go touch your hands. Exhale, repeat. Lower the legs. Inhale, lift them up. And as you keep on doing this motion, make sure that your lower back stays on the ground. Okay? Legs down. Exhale, legs up. Inhale, go down. Exhale, up. Very good. Repeat. Should be burning in your abs by now. It certainly is for me. <laughs> okay, let's just do a couple more here. Up, down. Take your time. Sometimes doing the motion slower actually helps you get more out of the exercise. Okay, that's enough. You can bring your feet on the ground, arms to your side. Take a little break. From here, extend your left leg without it touching the ground. Keep your lower back on the ground and bring your right knee to your chest. Interlace your 10 fingers, bring them behind your head. Start doing some crunches towards the left. So left elbow towards the right knee. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Do it at your own rhythm. So the important thing, as I said, is to keep your lower back on the ground. Okay, one more. And you can relax. Now bring both of your knees to your chest. Just give yourself a little hug. And we're going to switch it out. So right leg extended, left knee to the chest, hands behind the back, and this time right elbow to left knee. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Yeah, that's it. The lower back stays touching the mat, navel towards your spine. Two more. Yeah. And you can release. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little hug again. 
Now extend your legs up to the ceiling. If you can't keep them straight, that's fine. Just do what you can. Lift your arms up. And as you exhale, try to go touch your ankles or your toes if you can. So depending how you're feeling at this stage of the practice, you can either go slower or keep it dynamic if you feel you have still a lot of energy. Just make sure you're doing the exercise properly. So quality over quantity. Okay, just a couple more, you guys. Exhale up. Again. Four, three. Four, two. And one. And you can just relax. <laughs> Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. And we just have one last ab exercise <laughs> to go. You can do this. Okay, so I want you to extend your legs, keep them together, and bring them as low as you can without your lower back lifting off of the ground. Now extend your arms forward without them touching the ground, lift your shoulders, and just start doing some swaying motions up and down with your arms. There you go. Keep your lower back on the ground, thighs contracted, legs extended. If it's difficult, bring the legs a little bit more up. And if you can handle it, you can lower your legs. But like I said, the lower back needs to stay touching the ground. <laughs> so for those of you that are checking the screen, Shanti's having a party with my ponytail right now. <laughs> so let's stay focused. Keep on swinging those arms. Just a few more seconds. Okay, and release. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a little hug to release. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're just going to do a little bit of deep stretching. We're going to slow things down as we're heading towards the end of the class. So keep your left leg extended. Bring your right knee to your chest and see if you can grab the outside of your right foot. Now if you can, just grab your shin. That's all right with your right hand. If you can grab the outside of your, your foot, that's great. Your next objective is to try to extend your right leg. So contract the thigh to try to extend your leg. And if your leg is extended, you want to bring it as close as possible to your face, basically. Okay. And now I want you to try to open towards the right. Make sure your left hip is still touching the ground. If you just grabbed below your knee, your shin, that's fine. You can still open and do all those exercises just by uh, holding onto your knee. Now inhale, bring the leg back up, try to keep the hold, and as you exhale, lower the right leg. Now inhale, bring the left knee, and try to grab the outer part of your left foot. And again, whichever variation you did on the right side, I want you to do on the left side. So this first time around, your head is on the ground, you're just trying to, if your leg is extended, trying to bring your leg closer to your, uh, your, your face, uh, keeping the right leg on the ground, right foot flexed, and slowly, slowly, open the left leg towards the left. Make sure that your right hip stays on the ground, right leg extended, and right foot flexed. Just breathe here. On an inhale, bring the left leg back up. Bring both knees to your chest. And give yourself a little squeeze again if that feels good. And now open your knees, bring the plants of the feet together, interlace your 10 fingers, and grab the outsides of your feet. And I want you to pull your feet inward towards your groin as the knees, you push them outwards in this basically laying down version of Baddha Konasana. Make sure your entire spine is touching the ground. Try to touch your tailbone even onto the ground, just stretching completely the spine. Shoulders as much as possible towards the mat, looking down towards your navel. Okay, now so gently release. Bring your left foot on the ground, directly below your left knee, and bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Now from here, you can either grab 
behind your thigh on the left leg or you can grab your shin. And then I want you to pull the left knee gently towards yourself, giving a nice stretch in the right buttock. And you can just gently release. Bring the right foot on the ground below the right knee. Now bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh and do exactly the same thing as you did on the opposite side. So even if you have one side that's more flexible than the other, you should always respect your weaker side so that your body is evolving in a balanced way. And this will also avoid injuries. So make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, even though you're pulling with your hands, that all of your spine is touching the ground. Even having the feeling that you're sort of unraveling your spine all the way to your tailbone. And gently release and bring both your feet on the ground below your knees for bridge pose. So your hands are along your sides, palm facing down, feet hip width parallel. Inhale, lift the hips. And you can interlace your fingers behind your back if you can. And then you're just pulling your hands towards your heels, basically. And from here, as you push your hips upward, you're also pushing your chest towards your chin. Really good stretch for the upper back here. Stay here for another inhale. And as you exhale, release, unravel the spine one vertebra at a time. You can bring both knees to your chest one last time. Give yourself a nice hug. If you can grab your elbows this time, do go ahead and do that. And just to finish it off nicely, finish the class off, we're going to do a spine twist. So bring your arms out into a T-shape. Bring both of your knees to your chest and then let them fall to the left. So there's, you should be looking to your right here. So the knees are towards the left, you're looking towards your right. You can also grab your uh, right thigh with your left hand if that feels good. Now the idea here is to keep both of your shoulders touching the ground. Ideally, that's the priority, even if your knees aren't touching the ground. And just let gravity do its work. Breathe through the nose gently. Enjoy this really nice posture. I particularly enjoy it. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. And this time we're going to let them fall to the right. And you're looking towards your left this time around, turning your head towards the left. If you brought your hand on your thigh on the other side, again, do the same thing on this side. Relax. Super. And from here, you can just bring both knees back to center. If you want, you can give yourself another nice little hug with your knees. You can try to bring your forehead to your knees. And relax and release everything for the final posture, which is Savasana. The most important posture of all, arguably. So in yoga, in the philosophy of yoga, the postures, so basically what we've been doing for the past 40-something minutes, has been a preparation for this moment, this very important moment where you are in a horizontal position and therefore in the optimal position to receive the prana. The prana is the life breath energy of the universe. Doing all those postures previously releases all the blockages in the body 
and you are now disposed to receive the energy and let it flow through the body. So essentially the postures are preparation. Okay? And what's happening right now is more important yet. And just relax completely, let the breath flow naturally. Just direct your attention towards the heart and realize that it is completely open and filled with love. All you need is really the, this moment. Appreciate this blissful state that you are in at this moment. <laughs> this is it. So simple. Gently move your fingers, move your feet, bring your attention back towards the body. And slowly, just turn your body to the right for a second, take a little pause. And slowly, gently come up to a sitting posture. Sit however you feel comfortable. And if you'd like, you can bring your hands in namaskar in front of your chest. Thank you very much, everybody. See you next week. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. That means peace to you, to your family, peace to the universe. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> you did great. <laughs>